Hello everyone, today I have a clutch analysis for my least played class, the Psyker. If you have not seen the previous clutch analysis, I go over various aspects that can contribute to your clutch, such as resource management, enemy priority, spawn awareness, and positioning. I also go through my thought process as the clutch progresses. So, let's just get right into it. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I'm on two dollars. What the fuck? So, with my team actively perishing before my eyes, I decide it is best to try to rotate to a better position so that I don't get caught in the crossfire. And while I am trying to make these rotations, I make good usage of smite, which is enhanced by empowered psionics. If I'm not immediately able to use smite from high peril, I will resort to using my MK4 dueling sword, which can make short work of pretty much anything, especially crushers if I hit the weak spot. I saw that overhead. And on the topic of high peril, I have Venting Shriek to mitigate it as much as possible so that I can use Smite to get positioning and damage whenever I can. But if it is not necessary, I won't be using Smite since I can easily deal with a few targets with my Dueling Sword. But right now, I'm being pushed by a plethora of scabs, so I use Smite to get the positional advantage, back off, and Quail to repeat the process. This process also includes the occasional usage of the Void Strike Staff to heavily stagger and open up the guards of Crushers and Bulwarks. Now with that group dealt with, I quickly make my way forward to a Lone Crusher that will be made into an example with the Dueling Sword. And then I progress on to this area, which I will be coming back to very shortly. This is a very good area to kite enemies around since it usually has at least one or two barrels to utilize as well as some goodies that can spawn around this area. But for now, since there isn't too much commotion, I decide to press on. But there goes the horde spawn. On top of the various scabs that are already in the area, I decide it is definitely best to fall back and get the space I need to deal with these dudes. And to do that, I make full use of Smite, which is enhanced by Empowered Psionics. As well as making use of the barrels all around me. When it comes to dishing out as much damage as I can through Smite and Crowd Control, Venting Trick really was the best ability to have in this scenario. Now with most of the horde and scabs cleared away from the stairs, I try to make my way to my team while also holding them off. Unfortunately, I took a little bit of damage, but thankfully I did find a green stem. While I'm aware that there is a Medicaid here, I can't exactly make use of it since everything is in hot pursuit of me. The team is so close but so far, all I have to do is really take out the rest of these crushers and maulers so that I can finally get my team up. But it will be very difficult since the majority of my damage is being done through smite. And this large crowd of scabs are a little too abundant to make use of my sword or the Void Strike staff, so the best thing to take care of this situation would be the constant use of smite while rotating and kiting these guys around the area. Coming up, I hear that the specialists are spawning, so I change tactics to deal with them quickly. Since most of the Ogren can be held off by Smite, these specialists, though, are more of an urgent matter, such as the Pox Burster, Mutants, and Flamers. Right here is when a series of mistakes occur 
I get pummeled by this mutant and thrown into a very bad position and make the wrong rotation around this area where the flamer is. This became very close. I should have initially just rotated through here instead of going to the left. For now though, my team is looking pretty open to revive, so I make the attempt, but I abort it since the flamers are still covering the area. Now that all the area deniers are dead, I try to make one last attempt to get my team, and I manage to get them all up. Got him. Okay, I can unmute. Okay. Jesus Christ. Thank <laughs> you, okay? No! <laughs> yeah, that's how it all went. I can safely say that this was definitely the most stressful of the clutches that I've had, knowing that I had at least a stampede of crushers and maulers that can overhead me once would be enough to end the run, as well as the very real possibility of me imploding due to warp usage. This was quite the experience, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I definitely want to see your thoughts in the comments, and I'll try to do my best to respond. Alrighty then, I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Peace.